Here we have the ROG Strix B550F Wi-Fi motherboard. The perfect motherboard to go with your AMD Ryzen 3rd gen CPU. I haven't opened the box yet, so why don't we take a peek inside. So here we have the contents of the box. We have our Wi-Fi antenna, our B550F motherboard, an instruction manual, don't need that, a sticker sheet, ooh, a thank you card. And lastly, all the cables we'll need. Now that the motherboard's out of its protective sleeve, we can take a closer look at all its majesty. Here we have the 12 plus two power stage design VRM with the impressive heat sinks. Here are the two M.2 slots, both of which have heat absorbing armor plating to prevent throttling from heat. We have our two PCIe slots, one of which has ASUS exclusive safe slot metal reinforcements here we have the very cool RGB ROG logo lighting zone. You of course can customize and sync the lighting with your other ROG components. The metal surfaces all over the board have a really nice finish to them. The texture really captures the light in a special way. There's a classic ROG cyber text all over the board. Here we have some Japanese characters that read ROG ni sanka seo, be a part of ROG. There's even more detailing on the rear of the board. Here we have Veda Tile de Republique join the Republic, and nice logo placement. My favorite feature of the ROG Strix motherboards is the pre-attached I.O. panel. In the past, I've forgotten to attach the I.O. panel until the very last minute, and that's no fun, especially when you think you're done building. Going back to the other goodies in the box, we have a nice thank you card, because we do really appreciate you choosing ROG for your PC builds. So you can put this on your fridge, next to your holiday cards, and your kids' drawings. The sticker sheet is both fun and functional. I think I'll put one of these stickers on my glove right now to give it a bit more flair. The stickers below are the functional stickers. They are color coded so you can label your cables. When building, it's easy to lose track of where a cable is coming from and where it's going. These stickers should help you keep track of all of that. All right, so besides applying more stickers to my gloves, the only thing that's left to do is to remove the plastic film from our motherboard. I'll let you stick around to watch that as long as you like and subscribe for more ROG content and let us know in the comments what kind of PC you're going to build with your ROG Strix B550F gaming motherboard. Just kidding, I'll let you watch anyway.